I just woke up. Um, I was I was asleep and I had the I had the same dream and and I wake up and I'm driving and I'm I'm on the shoulder. I I pulled over. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where. Uh, I can see the welcome to Carol sign. Fuck, you were right. I, I shouldn't be here and I don't want to be here. I had the arrogance to believe I put that place behind me. As you will soon see, this whole project was is um, a constant reminder that I don't know everything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Especially when it comes to Carroll, California. How did that sound? Intentionally vague? Well, let me take you back to simpler times. Back when my biggest concern was getting an A in media studies. I want to follow moth migration. What is going on here? You are a truth seeker, aren't you? You just don't know about Carol's curse. This is the eye. This is crazy. There are thousands of them. What are you doing? No, 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 what are those? Moths, I think. They were Anthorea polyphemus, the polyphemus moth. Tan in color, about a six inch wingspan. The name comes from the Greek myth of polyphemus, the cyclops. Yet there are two large yellow spots on their lower wings. Each yellow spot has a black spot in the middle, kind of like a pupil. <laughs> a pair of eyes rather than one Big one. Can I introduce it? Sure. Go for it. Just hold it. Hold it from the bottom. Right yeah. Got it. Great. Cool. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm Clay. Uh, this is Danny. Say hi, Danny. Don't say it like that. Okay. Don't say it like that. And <laughs> this her. is the podcast project for Professor Sweeney's class. We're talking journalism 101. Please. Uh, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. That's enough. Our partnership was. Spur of the moment, to say the least. I didn't intend on spending weeks of my life with a guy who always came in late to class. Half awake, unzipped backpack, the only person I know who confidently raises his hand for every question, even though I know he didn't do the reading. But he would always sit by me and would always bring me something. It was weird. And then he discovered my kryptonite. Cool Ranch Doritos. So... When our professor told us to pick partners for this project, we sort of just looked at each other. Okay. You want to follow moth migration? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was our journalism 101 professor, Agatha Sweeney. And our final? Episodic auditory storytelling. Or, for the layman, a podcast. Tell me, what's the angle? It's highly unusual for the species. There are some crazy videos on TikTok. TikTok is not the news. Yes, fair. Um, but surely you've heard about it. It's it's all over the normal news. This species of moth is migrating all at once, all across the country. Mm -hmm. I've I've heard theories. Oh, that conspiracy theories. Mm, no, uh, that there is a meteorological cause for this widespread phenomena. Mm -hmm. We're living in a time of inexplicable 
extremes. Someone needs to bear witness to okay. this. Okay, okay. I like the enthusiasm. I do. But make sure you're talking to an actual source. Of no course. influencers, yeah. TikTok, whatever. No conspiracy nuts, please. Okay. And find an actual scientist. An entomologist, perhaps. Absolutely. Okay. You got it. Uh, is he recording this? No, no, I don't think so. Uh, the first thing I told you was to ask for permission. Why are you recording? You should have documented. We I, went over this. Yeah, I obviously. Sorry. I know, sorry. I know. Sorry. I know. Stop. My bad, my bad. Yeah, we won't use this. And with that glowing endorsement, we were on the road. So, what are we doing again? Getting to the bottom of that. <laughs> oh, she's pointing. This is an audio medium, ma'am. No pointing. Then you describe it. Uh, it's like a, like a gray squiggle. Seriously? What? Come on. What? Tell me it's not a, fine. It's just like, it's like a really skinny cloud that's like kind of moving. What? What? <laughs> we were going to Carroll, California. Population 10,444 a dusty little town on historic Route 66, known for the retro delicacies Peepers, named suspiciously similarly to another one of America's favorites. Carol found its way into the hearts and tummies of many a peckish road tripper on their way to break the bank in the city of Sin. No way. It's way worse out here, okay? I know. Uh, if I die, remember me. Move. Go, go, go. Fuck it. Dude, don't fucking laugh at me. I'm trying, I'm trying to help you. I'm not trying to eat them. Are you filming me, dude? It's your hands. No, dude. No, okay. no. Please don't film me. Please. Hey, hey, hey. it's all right. My bad. My bad. Have a peeper on me. Oh, okay. Okay, I forgive you. Thank you. The kid behind the counter of the gas station pelted clay with a peeper. If you're wondering what they look like, it's a round snack cake coated with fluorescent pink marshmallow stuff. It has a large fudge dot in the center. Looks like a tit, right? Uh, or an I. Uh, does this happen every year, the migration? Hell no, man. You've never seen this before? No, but I'm not surprised. What do you mean? Shit happens here, bro. What kind of shit? Did, did you ask him? I'm sorry. Is it cool if we record this? Dude, these are actually so good. It's okay. crazy. Don't eat. Wait, what is this for? <sighs> okay, um... And recording. Yo, my name is Javier Coelez. Javi Papi on the gram. At Dream Boy on Twitter. Catch me on all the socials. How long have you lived in Carroll? Born and raised in this freaky town, bro. But I'm going to get out to LA soon. Check out my SoundCloud Hype Wizard. Wait, why is it freaky? Just freaky, you know? Time shit, ghost shit, Matrix shit. Weirder than a giant moth storm? You don't even know, but yeah. This is pretty weird. More annoying than anything. Yo, tell us the weirdest story you got. <sighs> nah, dude. I don't mess with that shit. I do mess with Snapchat, though. I'm on there. Oh, I... Come on. He doesn't, he doesn't want to oh, I'm sure you got something. No, I, yeah. You said this was going on the radio. Uh, no. Yeah, I, it's, a yeah it's going to go on the radio. Thing. And y'all got a TikTok, too, right? I mean, no, we got a TikTok. No, we don't. No. It's the, um... Oh, you got to get on all no, the platforms, we... bro. Okay, sorry. We don't have a TikTok. We'll make a TikTok. Click. We'll make a YouTube. Click, we'll make Twitter. Click. We'll make everything okay. you need. Yeah. We'll put all your socials on there. Plug everything. Okay, okay, Whatever okay. Yeah. Shut up. Cool. Jesus. Start. Go ahead. So, my family went camping near the rocks outside of Carroll. The rocks? Macula rocks. Popular spot. Really beautiful. You also check it out. Yeah. It was 4th of July weekend. The whole family went camping, which never really ends well. My mom and dad were yelling at each other about something. So Drake and I head out to the rocks. Who's Drake? My little dog, <laughs> Chihuahua Mutt. Uh, what do the rocks look like? They're like kind of smooth, you know? This really pretty light orange color, like sunset color. Drake ran ahead of me and I chased him. 
You went really deep inside of these rocks. When you're in there, it's hard to see which way you came from. Everything is so smooth, no big landmarks. Fireworks are going off too. It's like every so often, everything flashes up. Big booms of light, you know? Yeah, yeah. But underneath, I could hear Drake whining. I could tell he was scared, and, and this little dog was my best friend. So, I'm scrambling over these rocks. And they look smooth, but they're rough still, you know? I'm, I'm getting all scratched up. And I feel all lightheaded and weird. And I get over this big boulder, and I see Drake. I call out to him, and he doesn't respond. <laughs> I even use my dog voice, man, and he doesn't move. I get down to him and he's growling at me, like he doesn't recognize me. I try to pick him up and he nips me, man. That dog never bit me or growled at me. His eyes are bulging. He's terrified. Little dude has no idea who I am. So I reach down to grab him and he gets away and runs off. Wow. Did you find him? Sorry, man. I'm like shaking and shit. I shouldn't be talking about this. Oh, no, dude, don't, please, dude, please don't stop. Sorry, no, this it's, is awesome. It's, it's, no. Okay. It's hard for me to remember exactly what happened after that. My head hurts. Bad, like really bad. I was super dizzy. And I had this feeling someone was following me. I started to see this dude at the corner of my eye. He's big, really tall, strong, and he's after me. I start scrambling, man, as fast as I can over these rocks, but he's closing in on me. He's like grabbing at my shoes and stuff. Is he saying anything? He's yelling, but I'm so scared I can't understand him. Finally, he gets a hold of my ankle, I'm kicking his shit, and I lose my grip on the rocks. Next thing I know, I'm back at camp. You blacked out? probably fell I, I guess I don't know but I'm back and in so much pain I broke my leg in a rib I think but what's weirder is that my brother is pissed he's just screaming at me why didn't you stop running wait wait wait, wait, wait. it was your brother chasing you yeah man I guess I'm telling you I had no idea who he was his face looked different like a stranger. We haven't really talked about it since. Have you had a history of seeing? No, bro. No, I, I don't know. I, I'm not crazy. I didn't mean like, I, I didn't yeah, mean like that. What happened to Drake? Don't know. Never found him. So, like, be careful out there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. We have to go to Dracula Rocks. It has nothing to do with moths. So? It's better. Dracula, not Dracula. So is that a yes? Are you sure this is the place? Do you see many other houses? Uh, no. That was only there's one right there. It's a good, it's a good shed. That's a barn. Oh well, hello. Hi, Dr. Halsey. So great to finally meet you. This was our reliable source, Dr. Ralph Halsey, a local entomologist. Late sixties, faded Hawaiian shirt, Crocs with socks. I'm sorry. Do I know you? Danny, Danny Curtis, and this is Clay. Clay Daniels, hi. Uh, from Cal State Channel Islands. Oh, right. Sorry, I've been a bit foggy this week. Please, come in. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. We were definitely in the right place. Stacks of old issues of Buzz Weekly's, a defunct bug appreciation tabloid, pinned specimens of exotic, creepy crawlies, as well as the occasional emptied bottle of cheap Irish whiskey. After explaining the project for the third time, we got verbal consent to record. And is it recording? Blinking. Blinking, yeah. Okay. 
so Dr. Halsey, um, please tell us about your research. <laughs> Doctor, wow, yes. I guess that did happen. <laughs> well, yes, you're quite accomplished in your fields from the research I could find online. Well, my stuff's on the internet. Well, I guess I've made it then. Uh, yes, uh, Scientific American, among others. I never thought anyone would come around, to be honest. I've been called a quack more times than I can count. Those on the bleeding edge of their fields often are. I'm enjoying the flattery, miss, but to what do I owe this pleasure? <sighs> Clay? Oh, yeah, um... So basically, Danny's house was bombarded by a swarm of moths, like, last week, and it, it felt kind of, um... apocalyptic, just, like, generally abnormal, so... We did some research online, and your name came up, um, and we saw that you have, um... A doctorate in migratory patterns of moths? Well, not only moths, but yes. I spent most of my spry years on the field. Well, yeah, great. So, um, so firstly, you're kind of off a beaten path. Why? Like, what, what have you found of interest in Carol? What don't I find interesting? A year-round migration of 12 species and counting, spanning the hexapoda subphylum from every corner of the globe, all converging on one town in the middle of an otherwise unremarkable climate? Add to that that these populaces all die in a somewhat tight pattern encircling a rock formation with no remarkable traits. So what do I find interesting in Carol? <laughs> well, I do fancy myself some peepers. I've got some in the cupboard if you're feeling peckish. Right. There's a, there's a lot there. So what? You came to ask if you should move out of the flight pattern? Or you wanted to know if moths deserve burials? Or you wanted to know why no one cares? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, like, all, all of that. Interesting. This is definitely an abnormal interview, I must say. Um, what Clay is trying to say is, uh, why now? Why here? the questions I've been asking for nearly four decades. Perfect. Awesome. So what, what are your findings then? <laughs> What's your major? Communications. Right. That was a rhetorical question, son. There are rarely findings in sciences. Just more questions. See, I don't know if there's been a great advent in your field sometime in the last 20 years since Bob Gates and Steve Jobs, but things in my world aren't quite as clean as they are in journalism. Each strand I pull at loosens another, which then begs investigation. <sighs> Nothing ever comes out of the tangle. Right, the, the scientific method. Put very simply, yes. What brought you here, then? And did I go the quiet? I mean, isn't the moth phenomenon nationwide? Why, why... A podunk town in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Isn't it obvious? I wanted to be with them. Them? <laughs> I'm sorry, could you be more specific? The insects. They don't always give answers, but I feel more at home with them. There were a lot driving in. I'd say like nearly a hundred smeared on our windshield. Do, do, you, so, do you feel... Like, does his death bother you? That's a stupid question. Does the impending death of Earth, and quite possibly the human race, bother you? Because that seems to be just about the only thing on the news anymore. It's hard to care about anything when it's all on the rocks, but here I am. I found meaning in my work. Keep your head down and trouble will avoid you. Thanks. Uh, I, I'll remember that. Sorry. Where are my manners? Would either of you like some lemonade? It's freshly squeezed. Oh, that would be nice. Thank you. Oh, right. Why don't you let me handle the questions? Be my guest. Hey, don't sweat it. He's prickly. Has a damn pear. <laughs> what? I don't know, I'm just 
is what my dad used to say about my grandpa. Oh, you're close with your family, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yep. Wow. Family, man. Yep. <laughs> okay. Really? I've heard of Fresh Squeezed, but is he seriously picking lemons in the middle of our interview? Come on. Do you want to leave? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's just please, please no. Can we just finish this? I'm not going to make this trap again. <laughs> you're stubborn. You know that? Yeah, I know. So I've been told. Okay, seriously, why the hell did he just go outside? God, Clay, relax. Yeah, relax. Okay, maybe that is weird. Yeah. I think we should leave. No, we won't leave. Because we're finally getting interesting. Doctor? He was just sitting there. On his bright red John Deere, the sun directly overhead, and a swarm of moths circling his head. Doctor? Hello? You mowing the lawn? Well, it's Sunday, isn't it? It's Friday. A breakfast slam and carol costs six twenty-five. That's two buttermilk pancakes, three strips of bacon, and two eggs any style. Oh, and a bottomless coffee. I was just about ready to pack up my 98 Chevy van with all my worldly possessions and start a life in the lazy town of Carroll, too. Just about. That went well. Could have been a lot worse. So what is a guy like that doing living on his own? It just We're probably divorced. If he was ever married. Stop. No, it makes no You're sense. He clearly you needs. Do you feel for you too, sweetheart? Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, please. Oh, sorry. Um, and while we have you here, anything you might suggest we check out? We're only here for the day. Yeah. You're passing through. Will that be a lady tonight? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we're we're here on um on, on business. Business. Mm -hmm. Wow. You two came here to put peepers out of their misery once and for all? <laughs> no, just an interview about this moth problem. Oh, good lord, Ralph! <laughs> Dr. Halsey, yes. And that old quack, you should have tried him ten years back before, you know, Carol got to him. Uh huh? Oh, you two don't know about Carol's curse. Well, they say. Nobody makes it 30 years in this town without losing a screw or two. Sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Dementia. You can't throw a rock in this town without knocking a couple of flesh screws in a bone can. Well, that's why I'm getting out. It's going on um, 28 years, and I'm not testing my life. No, no. I just about had it. Like I said, Oh, don't worry. That's just Edmund. An elderly man wandered into the diner. He had several weeks of stubble, and his eyes looked as if someone had scooped the life out of them. He, he smelled of urine, and his gown swung open, exposing certain areas as he stumbled towards us. Bill, call Waverly. It's the local old folks home. <laughs> hey. Oh, don't worry, Missy. Eddie, come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> you know, uh, he used to be a food scientist. Worked at the old Peepers factory. It's really sad to see him like this now. Well, he's what now? 105? In fact, he's still walking around isn't too bad if you ask me, dear. 105? Well, actually, you know, that's not unusual here. Must be something in the water. No, they call it a blue zone. Mm, I've heard of those. For those of us who aren't as worldly as clay, a blue zone is a region of the world where people tend to live longer lives, often reaching up to age 90 and even 100 and beyond. A Wikipedia search will tell you that Carol is an unofficial blue zone. You'd think a place mostly famous for its ultra-processed snack foods would be an unlikely candidate, but as the sweet older couple in the adjacent booth told us, people regularly live past 100 here. 
yet there seems to be a darker side to Carol that goes hand in hand with reaching these distinguished ages. The curse is just a silly legend, but, but we don't have too many friends left outside of Waverly, do we, Vic? <sighs> just part of getting older, I guess. Well, it's part of, of getting older in Carol, that's for sure. Oh. And elderly care here is so overwhelmed. I think that we should retire to Thailand. <laughs> well, good prizes there. Waited on hand and foot, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Won't get that at Waverly. <laughs> What's wrong at Waverly? Oh, have you been? No, no, we just no. got no. You don't need to go there. Nothing but a sad story. We should go to this Waverly place. What does that have to do with moths? Oh my god, I sound like you. <laughs> they might know more about them. If Ralph is right about it being a Carol thing, after all, old people know those things, like... That, what are you looking at? He's... Oh my god, I think he's pulling their wings off. What? <laughs> the guy, the, the guy from the diner. He's like, he's like ripping the, the oh. wings. One sec, come on, one sec. Hey. <laughs> Don't follow it! Hey, what are you doing, if dude? If you follow it, you'll die! Go of me, follow what? The man had a fistful of torn moth wings. A pile of wriggling torsos at his feet. This next part is... It's going to sound strange, but I promise it happened. The man put one handful of wings in his mouth and the other directly into Clay's face. Oh, what the hell, man? I just want to keep my wings. Let's get out of here. I is watching. It's, it's always he's watching. Following us. Okay, run, run. Don't let it see you. He's still coming, he's still coming. Hello? Is this Daniel Curtis? Yes, speaking. Um, is he is he okay? He's about to go into surgery. Can I come see him? Uh, are you family? No, um, but it's... I'm it's sorry, so really I important. cannot give you visitation rights, okay? Oh, um, What is that? Is that for him? Uh, I, I have to go, I have to go. No, no, please, please, can you just... Come? The Eye is a production of California State University Channel Islands. It is written and produced by Danielle Curtis and Clay Daniels. Special thanks to our advisor, Professor Sweeney, and to the generous people of Carroll, California. This is a student production. We are learning. Please be kind. Until next week, follow us. Coming up this season on the eye. People here live past a hundred. Regularly. Maybe it's something completely new. But after I learned the truth, I started to get these, um, these panic attacks. What's wrong with his eyes? Don't look at him. You stop that now! You hear? Stop it! Stop it! Stay still! Just stop! The body is not the focus. The, the body, body is not the focus. Me. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> <laughs>